Okay, first off, I'm going to say thank you for Drew, CEO and founder of Vibe, uh, for letting me use his computer. So he's a non-developer, so this will be good because I'll get his computer set up kind of the way that a de developer should for some of the classes I teach as well as workshops. So um, this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to download uh, Node.js uh, or NPM. So if I type in Node.js, uh, the first search that will come up is nodejs.org. Um, this will give me the package manager. Two different versions. There's a current one, pretty stable, but I'd recommend using this one uh, unless you're doing some development work and working on some releases. Uh, this is the most stable one. If you're on a Windows machine, same thing. Uh, it will give you the option and you'll be able to download it. While that's downloading, another thing that we're going to install is SAS. So if I do a search for SAS CSS, um, it will come up with SAS Lang, which is another weird uh, URL. Uh, if you're on a Windows machine, before you install SAS, you're going to have to install Ruby. So if you do Ruby Windows, uh, the first thing that comes up is Ruby Installer. This is for Windows machines. Download this, install Ruby, and get going that way. Another thing that we're going to install is we're going to install Brew. And um, Brew doo -doo, is a package manager for OS X. And basically, all I need to do to install it is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to Terminal. I'm going to go to Terminal in OS X and I'm going to paste this in here. Okay, cool. Put my password in. There we go. And that's installing. While that's installing, I'm going to get Node installed. Two birds with one stone. Continue. Go through, yeah, I agree. And then this. All right. All right, cool. Now the node's installed. Move that to trash. I can now open up terminal and let's open up a new window. If I write npm.v, you'll see that I now have the current version on here, which is fantastic. Um, I'm going to install Gulp here. So how I do that is I say sudo, which is administrative rights to my computer on a Mac. If you're on Windows, um, you just open up your command line in the right-click administrative mode. And I do npm install dash g, which means global. And I'm going to say gulp. So that's going to be installed in here. Um, while that's doing that, I'm also going to install another one that I really like to recommend people having on their machine, so uh, Browser Sync. And Browser Sync is right here. Um, from here, I go to the documentation and I will go to command line. And then from the command line, I am going to copy. the install for this. Uh, Drew is filming a video of me, uh, which has gotten me thrown off. So I'm going to do sudo npm install-g and put that in there. And now I'll have browser sync installed, as well as I've installed gulp, um, which are two really helpful things to have globally added here. Uh, so other things I'm going to do, um, and just visit uh, Browser sync for documentation on that. Now that we've installed Node and we have that going on, uh, we should already have Brew now in here. If I go, oops, um, Brew dash V, Brew is not found. Uh, let's do one thing here. Let's copy this again. I uh, wasn't paying that close attention. Sudo this. Okay, cool. And curl install. Okay. Oh, I canceled this earlier. So this is going to take a few minutes to install here. Cool. Um, another thing that I talked about was Ruby earlier on. So if I Ruby install, I hit V or Ruby dash V. Um, so on OS X, Ruby is installed by default. Uh, Drew's on this version of OS X, which is one version behind, but it just came out a week or two ago. Uh, and with 
OS X, you have Ruby installed. Again, if you're a Windows machine, you can go out and install it. Um, for installing uh, a gem in, or a package or a gem in, in Ruby, uh, what I do is um, uh, Ruby gem install and then whatever that gem is. Oops, uh, so I did this wrong. It's gem install uh, SAS. And that's how I would install a gem. And I would have to put file permissions. Uh, this is the most ordinary way of installing a gem. And recently, oops, uh, recently SAS has made some updates that um, give it kind of a weird uh, air sometimes. And that's why we're installing brew. So I would try doing uh, gem install SAS first. And if that doesn't work, uh, brew is a, is a great way of doing this. Okay, still downloading this. But basically once uh, Ruby, or once Brew is installed, Brew allows me to install things. It's a really great way to organize uh, packages and even versions on your computer. Um, so you just copy and paste that curl script in, in terminal and um, kind of follow the on-screen steps there. And then if we want to install something, we do Brew install whatever that piece is. And uh, once we go to here, documentation for SAS, oops, uh, the install documentation is right here, and it will give you instructions on how to install SAS. So here's this. Um, let's also do this. It's an interesting, cool way of doing this. Let's do sudo npm install global SAS. So SAS is installed through Node, but again, we've installed uh, Brew. Uh, and this is just taking a long time to install. And once I do that, I can also install it this way. Another thing is I recommend people setting up a CodePen account. Um, uh, I use CodePen a lot in tutorials, heavily recommend it. Uh, it's free to sign up, but the paid accounts are really fantastic. So they have what are called projects and you can actually run, develop, and test your projects from CodePen. It's fantastic. So I'm gonna sign up Drew here. Um, his name is Drew, and he will be um, Dr. Drew Knight. Um, and his email is drew at Now Drew is set up, and yeah. That's uh, pretty much it. So he's in Columbus, Ohio. And his bio. Okay. My CEO and founder of Foggy. This is something he would say, so I'll put that in there. Uh, so we continue. So now he has ability to save projects, uh, or not save projects, but um, that's only for paid. And here um, he, can make, he can do a demo and put it out there and share it with the world, which is nice. Uh, other things that I'd like to recommend are Git um, and different ways of setting up. Uh, Git is installed um, if you're on a Mac and you have um, uh, uh, I can't think what it's called. You develop I iOS apps in. It's just installed on this machine. I'll I don't know. Uh, oh, in Xcode. So it's a part of Xcode, but if I do this and get the, um, so git is added here, which is cool. Um, I typically go through command line, but there's a f some great tools out there. Tower I highly recommend. So Tower uh, for Git, it's a nice GUI. Um, it is a paid one, but it is very intuitive for someone that isn't familiar with Git. Um, there are some other ones, like Source Tree is not bad, uh, and it is free. 
So you can download that and it works both on Windows and Mac. So if you go back and forth, it's nice to have. I saw that in there. I also, so you may notice that I have this on here, this way of like controlling my Windows machine that's called, or my Mac, uh, that's called Size Up. Uh, it's an awesome application. Uh, it's free to download here. Um, and it's an unlimited trial, but I recommend buying it. It's worth the buy. Another really great one is Divi. Uh, Divi does the exact same thing, but it creates grids around the screen. So that's another cool one. Um, I do talk about Sketch a lot, so Sketch app. Uh, heavily recommend at least giving it a try, going to learn for it, and I'm buying it. So this is a, a great application. Do a lot of web UI design development here. And then outside that, um, I think of any other quick ones that would be helpful for getting set up for the first time on your machine. Um, for the most part, that works well. Uh, Adam uh, is a good text editor. It is free. Uh, recommend downloading that one. Uh, so then you can edit your code locally. If you're not using Atom, I, my go-to still today, even though it's running out of popularity, is um, Sublime Text 2. It is paid. Um, it is a good development team. So it's relatively inexpensive to, to do and buy. And then the last one, which has been really uh, becoming popular, is VS Code. Uh, VS Code is a competitor um, to kind of the Atom world, so it's free to download, and you can have all these really great libraries. Um, so I'm going to install this also on Drew's machine. Uh, and again, there's a preference for either of these. VS Code is getting popular. Atom has been popular. Uh, Sublime Text has kind of been winning the market, but... Anywho, any of these are great options for editing your code. Um, and looks like I got an error here. Uh, let's see. Where it be? Looks like bruise installed for him. So we can install SAS this way if we wanted to, but pretty much everything's set up on this machine. And uh, those are the core things that you need to really get started on developing on your local machine. Once these are downloaded, you can edit inside them. And that's it.